this is Alan Elliott and this is tutorial 5 Appending and Merging. This tutorial is about appending and merging data sets in SAS. To append a, new, a data set means to add new records to an existing data set, sometimes called a vertical merge. In the example to the right you'll see the original data set called old one uh, and then you add new records to it from the old two data set. Merging means that you add variables to a data set through the use of some key identifier that's pre present in both data sets, usually some ID code. This is sometimes called a horizontal merge and you can see in the graphic below old one is the original data set and then you add new variables to it from the data set old two. So here's an example of appending a data set or how you do it. Uh, you first you use the data statement, data new and then the set statement. Old1 and Old2 are the two data sets you want to append. You can append many data sets. This hands-on example is from page 95. Open the file called dappend1.sas. You'll see that this creates two data sets, one called Old1, which has four records, and Old2, which also has four records. We're going to take these two data sets and append them to one another using the code on the right, data new, set old one, old two, and then proc print to see the results. So go ahead and enter this code into dappend1.sas, get it to work, pause the tutorial, and when it runs for you, return. Okay, this is the result you should get. You'll see you have the first four records followed by the appended uh, next four records in the resulting data set. If you have variables in the data set that don't match, the resulting data set will contain some missing values where the variables don't match. Merging data sets is by use of a key identifier. Usually a variable uh, is, this variable is either like an ID number, a subject number, a patient number, and so forth. It has to be unique for each person or record. Uh, there doesn't have to be the same number of records in each data set to merge. However, unmatching IDs will result in some missing values. There's two steps to a merge. First, we sort the data, and then we merge the data. So th in the code below, you'll see you have proc sort by both pre and post data sets by the key variable, in this case, is called case. And then following that, then you do the merge using a data step and a merge statement within the data step where you say merge pre-post and also by case, that key identifier. Here's a hands-on example on page 97. Open up the file called demerge.sas. Uh, you'll notice here there's two data sets created. The data set pre has the variables case and pre-treat, and the data set post has case and post-treat. So case is that key identifier we're going to use to merge the data sets. Before we merge them, we have to sort them, so we do proc sort on both data sets pre and post. You're going to fill in the missing uh, code in that uh, statement. And then toward the right, there's some additional code that you can add, data pre-post, and then the merge statement pre and post by case. And at the same time, we're going to create a new variable from the merged data called diff, which uh, is going to be post-treat minus pre-treat, and then print out the results. So pause the tutorial enter this new code, get it to work, and then return to the tutorial. Here are the results. Our original data set had the column called pre-treat. We merged in the column called post-treat, and at the same time we calculated the diff variable, which was post-treat minus pre-treat. You can also rename variables during the merging process. In this example, you'll see that the merge has three data sets being merged, and the third data set, data three, uh, also at the same time we're going to rename some old variable names to new variable names. We can also drop variables and keep variables during this process. Another way to merge is called few to many. In a few to many merge, uh, we have records in one data set we want to merge to some table that typically, typically contains a smaller number of categories. For example, suppose you have a store that has credit accounts for a few customers, and these customers make many purchases during the month. We want to merge at the end of the month uh, our data so that with the few customers uh, with the many sales items 
to get a list of which items each cost customer bought during the month. You can see an example of this on page 98. So that's the end of tutorial 5. Our next tutorial is going to be PROC format.